The Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle is one of the best all-around armored vehicles out there. Its tow missiles make it a tank killer. Its Bushmaster autocannon clears enemy positions in seconds. And now it's going to be armed with the power of the Iron Fist. This is probably gonna hurt. No, not that Iron Fist, this one. First reported by Breaking Defense, U.S. Army Major General Glenn Dean says the service will finally start equipping Bradley IFEs with Elbit's Iron Fist light decoupled active protection system. Think of Iron Fist as a bodyguard of sorts, a ninja bodyguard. As the name implies, the Iron Fist light decoupled is designed for lighter armored vehicles or even 4x4s. Using two different systems to sense targets in a 360 degree radius, the Iron Fist will automatically detect incoming threats to the vehicle, alert the crew, and if the threat warrants an immediate response, the Iron Fist will deploy its interceptor. The system is effective against RPGs, recoilless rifles, drones, even kinetic energy weapons that fire supersonic streams of steel into and through armored vehicles. The Iron Fist is designed to try and minimize secondary detonations, so it uses shockwaves to down incoming projectiles. And thanks to Elbit's high-end sensors, it can detect incoming drones from far enough away. The Bradley's crew can use their other weapons to take those down, while saving the Iron Fist interceptors for more immediate targets. The U.S. Army has been trying for years to install active protection systems on its Bradleys. Budget shortfalls looked like they would sideline that plan again, but the wars in Gaza and Ukraine are proving the need for APS systems. General Dean said there's only enough money available right now to outfit a few dozen Bradleys during this first wave of upgrades, but there's a plan to outfit more over the next eight years.